number 392. Under any sort of involvement in combat-related duress in an aquatic environment, the underside hereby holds unaccountable the Imperial Army and all its subsidiaries, loosely defined as including... What is he talking about? ...rules therein as a collection, also referred to as the former Grand Army of the Republic and all its former subsidiaries. Scout? Yes, Danson? It's been three hours. Well, of course it has. Otherwise, you wouldn't be let in. You have to be made aware of all the regulations. Can we just skip to the end? I haven't even gotten to use the bathroom for 20 years, apparently. Very well, Danson. We'll move on to the submission process. But only because of the extenuating circumstances, since my supervisors usually stress the importance of clauses number 500 through 516, which outline the nocturnal uniform regulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just don't understand, sir. You sit behind a desk now? As one of the few remaining clones in our army, I've been given the uh, prestigious job of keeping the records here in the central hub of the entire Imperial database system. Wait, Imperial? What, what happened to the army of the Grand Republic? Oh, actually, we call ourselves the Galactic Empire now. Why? Things are just different now, mostly because of the war. There's no Jedi Council. I heard they just dissolved the Senate. We enforce the peace rather than protect it. Hostile we detected. Strong arm naysayers are doing our bidding. We laugh in the face of danger while children go. Alpha 12! <laughs> this line is getting out of hand. Speed up the process or I'll have you on latrine duty. I needed all these men down on Tatooine three hours ago. Oh, yeah. Where are the bathrooms? Yes, sir. Right away. And don't even think about asking to go along with these men. You have no chance of going planet side any time this century. One day. Where did these officer guys come from? We never had any unarmed. They showed up out of nowhere just a few days after we were declared an empire. All trained and everything. I never even saw recruitment flyers. And now, we'll just change your status from dead to living. There, all done. Welcome back to the Imperial Army, Delta 40. This is so weird. Well, um, we'll still have to order your standard issue Stormtrooper armor. That means uh, transferring your credentials into the armor database. And then after that, <sighs> the anal exam. And after that. Huh? Huh? What? Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! It was all a crazy dream! And you were there? And you? And you, Biff, and... Wait, you don't belong here. Ceasefire terminated. Slumbering hostile detected. No, I I'm awake, really! Uh, not again. Why is it always the face? What's that? Oh no, no, seriously, I'm awake! Please don't kill me! Bye sending me to the tattoo planet with everyone else. Don't ask me, Danson. I don't give orders anymore. Did you have a nice nap, Danson? It is very impressive that you fell asleep while standing upright. Ah, uh, nuts. There! Your armor's now on order and should arrive in three standard light years, Danson. In the meantime, we'll just keep you out of action and you should be safe. I have been sent to give you your first official orders. You are to join the men on Tatooine. Hostile detected. Ceasefire orders will disperse in T Vitus. One second. Bam! Bam! Oh, there you are! Biff, I still can't find the bathrooms. I've been running around for the last 40 minutes, and they all have conflicting reports. I, I had no choice. I. I went into that room with the bottomless pit, and I... Uh, trust me, Danson. You're not the first. Sounds like the troopers were playing a trick on you since you're new. So what happens to everything that falls down that pit? Nobody knows. I know if they ever ask me to clean it up, I'm gonna take a sick day. You'll learn that, Danson. Avoiding work will extend your life. Well, Danson, this must be exciting for you. Your first official mission. Second. Sort of. We wanted to wish you well, as is customary for a soldier when death is imminent. You mean, you're not coming along? Oh, no, 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 no. Imperial Armory rules dictate that we scout troopers are only allowed on forested planets. 
Uh, it's been said that our lightweight armor wouldn't protect us against... It's all the same plastic. Danson, my station in this army requires that I follow the rules. Besides, how else do you think I got away with avoiding combat for 20 years? Additionally, my programming states that I am not to be seen by the general public until we locate a rebel base. Desperate pause, any rebel base. Could you really live with yourselves, leaving me with no backup? I mean, you're okay with me just going down there to die? May the force be with you. And good luck! Man, I was just starting to like them. All right, troops. We have a situation down on the surface of the planet Tatooine. Rumors of a crazy hermit claiming to be a Jedi have sprung up all over the port city of Mos Eisley. We have a lead as to his position. Alpha 12, what are you doing in this line? I have emergency orders to accompany you to the surface, sir. Lose the skirt and then we'll talk, Alpha. <laughs> this is for active soldiers only. I must insist. I requested a transfer back to active duty. And that request was... Request denied, layabout. Get back behind your desk where you belong before I break your legs and nail them to the floor. I like how you put the fighters up on racks in this hangar. Much better than in that star dismantler. Destroyer. Where they were just sitting there on the hangar floor with no landing gears in sight. Honestly, how the heck did they stand up? They are made of metal, Danson. Quiet for a bustling spaceport. That's what I thought the first time. When I came back for a visit the second time, it was far more elaborate and special than I remembered. So, where's everyone now? I don't know. It's really hot out. And dusty. Who cares, anyway? You say that a lot. It's my motto. I can't believe you're still a private. Are most of the clones really gone? They're either promoted, retired, or dead. Rifle. Heavy. Mostly dead, though. The Alphas and Betas didn't age very well. Why not you? What happened? Well, first of all, us Gammas were accelerated initially, but now we age normally. I assume that's what your batch was supposed to do. There were more clones like me. And second, I never did any work. Took years off my life. Huh. So, why are you still a private? Soon after I was promoted to sergeant, one of the new recruits with a phony sounding accent made fun of my name. So I threw him in a trash compactor. There was no evidence, but scouts snitched on me, so I was demoted. Then they made a rule that clones could never be promoted again, so I'm still a private. W wait scout snitched? Claimed he was preventing an anger management episode. But he hasn't been promoted either. Nope. Apparently, the Imperial Army has a general policy of punishing snitches. It seems that they get disappointed when people don't get away with things, so they just punish everyone involved in the situation. Oh, did he? Ah, Molly Chloe! What was that? Wow, I forgot you still have that old blue laser rifle. Small glowy eyes. Those terrible, terrible I mean, all eyes. All of ours fire red lasers now. Biff, what was that thing? Nothing, just a Jawa, local riffraff. I doubt there will be much of a local response. But I just murdered an innocent citizen. That... They're not citizens. They're dirty little border jumpers with 14 kids to feed who sell other people's garbage for a living. He had 14 kids? Oh. You sure I'm not going to be in serious trouble? Of course not. We're the Empire, Dance, and we run things here. The locals have no power to punish you. I think. Hey, how about I buy you a drink to celebrate your first kill? Isn't it illegal to drink while on duty? Just get up. I can't believe you get spooked by one little Jawa. I must tell you, Danson, there are weird creatures everywhere. If that scares you, you really should look into another line of work. Wait, there are other lines of work? You'd be a great resort hotel manager. Do you think the crazy old hermit could be a Jedi? He did use a lightsaber in the incident. No, that's impossible. When they all been crazy, they were exterminated. That seems a little harsh, yeah? Now just let me handle this, okay? Handle what? Hello, troopers. We- Wait, wait. Hold on a second. What happened to the Jedi? Did they turn evil or something? No, seriously. 
Honestly, sure. But we don't ever talk about the Jedi anymore. If anyone asks you about them, speak of them like they're an ancient religion. But how can something only 20 years old be ancient? Is there something we can help you gentlemen with? We've been assigned to relieve you of your post. We were ordered by Sergeant Aran to guard this establishment while the clientele is questioned around back, sir. The sergeant specifically stated that no one is to pass through these doors. What happened? There were some violent incidents. A crazy old hermit cut off someone's arm. And a suspected smuggler shot a Rodian. We're still inconclusive on who shot first. Crazy old hermit? We just saw someone with that description heading off in the speeder headed for Tashi Station. If you hurry, you could possibly catch them in at... Oh, oh wait, it probably wouldn't help you anyway. What? What do you mean? Are you guys clones? Danson, shut it. No. Of course not. Oh. Never mind then. Oh, well, it, it's your lucky day then. If you catch them, since you're not clones, there could be a promotion in it for you. Let's roll. Great. Thanks. I really liked that one trooper's armor. All the blue trimming. So stylish. Our armor is so soulless and boring. That was too easy. Imperial detail just isn't what it used to be. This place is very... homey. It plays great tunes, though. I love this song. Please don't hurt me, sirs! The detail is questioning my patrons around back. Oh, thank heavens. The Republic is finally back in order. Biff, what's he talking about? Well, you're a clone trooper, right? You're a white knight of democracy, a savior to all. Come to destroy these skeletal stormtroopers and all that they represent. And I'm sure you're here to kill this lone stormtrooper as a symbol of the end of the Imperial reign. Barkeep, I have a few official questions for you on behalf of the Empire. Aw, oh, nuts. What a terrible practical joke. Painting up one of you buggers like a clone. It's not even All Fallows Eve. When did they say that armor was coming in dancing? I'll have to ask you kindly to leave my bar now, sir. Nonsense. I've been sent to question you now that we're finished with your surviving patrons. Wait, he's doing the questioning? Well, he was closest in tattooing orbit. Holy crap, who's running this army? <laughs> Good citizen, there is no need to aim that weapon. What is your name? Grun, sir. And your station? I run this bar with my twin brother. I don't need your whole bloody life story, you get? Now then, Grin. Grun, sir. Grin is my brother. Whatever. Where were you during the incidents that summoned us here today? I was serving drinks to my fine customers. Don't give me that. This city is nothing but a hive of scum and villainy. He also has a taste for the dramatic, huh? What is it with the future? It's full of ass- All right, Deflin, you can stand down now. Keep your comments to yourself, Nancy boy. Now, it was you that allowed the customers in that caused this mess, wasn't it? No, sir. That was my assistant word. Don't lie to me, peon. You cannot fool the servants of the Imperial Arms so easily. But- The truth! Well, I- Come on! But... That's it! This will be a solo run establishment from now on. Ah, don't kill me! I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> All right now, lad, don't get in a twist. I was only trying to make sure you were straight with me. Look, I even had the safety on me bazooka on. Huh. I could swear the safety latches like this. Oops, <laughs> I guess now the safety's on. Now, boys, where were we? Uh, Biff? Where's that Imperial backup? Uh, I'll call for it? Precisely. I have just been informed of direct insubordination on Operation Find the Crazy. 
instigated by one Danson Delta 40. The target escaped on a freighter of some kind. The details are still coming in. Danson is to be apprehended immediately for termination. I mean discharge, if possible. Sir, this is Biff Gamma 09, checking in. I was near Danson Delta 40's last known whereabouts. Orders? Danson is considered armed and mildly dangerous. Try and talk him down, but if you have to shoot him, try not to damage his rifle. Danson! Danson! Force me. This is the second time this week I've had to search for you. Danson? Danson, you're in a lot of trouble. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Stormtrooper. My name's Spigot, and I... I never make trouble. I just putter about here in my home made of junk. It's, uh, rather cozy, if... You don't mind the draft. Gets kind of cold at night. Come out of there, will ya? <sighs> I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just wanted to be a good soldier like you. I'm only a passable soldier, Danson. You can't even do that. Yes, I can. Just look at my reflexes. Ow! Okay, maybe I overestimated a little on that landing. Danson, the army is pissed. You somehow botched the whole mission and everyone got away. I'm really afraid if I do what I'm told to and bring you in, they'll court-martial you and possibly even kill you. I guess everyone was right when they said I was gonna die. Don't talk like that. I'm not gonna bring you in. I'm gonna say I saw you leaving on a transport headed to Alderaan. No one goes there anyway. It's full of diplomats and plebeians. They can stand a little scrutiny anyway. Heck, I wouldn't be caught dead there. But Biff, then what will I do? You're the only person that I know in the future. I don't know. But I can't let you drag me down. Even though the job is the pits. I have a good gig on a space station with relatively good environmental controls. I can't stick my neck out for you. But I can't keep you safe this once. So this is goodbye? You just... You don't belong here, Danson. You never did. Maybe it's time you try finding out where you do belong. So, since you're not going to be a soldier, can I have your rifle? Why does everyone want my rifle? It doesn't even work. User error, Danson. User error. Goodbye, Danson. May the force be with you. And your rifle. I don't have to be different, Biff. I can fit in. that famous bounty hunter, Django Fett. Oh my god, you're Django Fett! My father! Oh, oh, I have so many questions for you! You're one of those rutting clones, aren't you? <laughs> my beautiful fur pelt! If anyone ever tries something like that around me again, they'll find out why I'm the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. You all hear that? Don't mess with Boba Fett! Or his pal Danson. I have to go into a new business. That's the third customer in one day. You never said this guy tortured people. <laughs> I have no idea what he said. But I think we should stay here. I think that's the worst idea I've ever heard. It'll be easy. We just need to prove ourselves to Jabba. We? 